Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about the bookmarks bar in Google Chrome and how you can get your bookmarks bar looking like this. In the Google Chrome browser, there's a bookmarks bar that lives just underneath the address bar. You can fill this sucker up with links to your favorite and most visited locations on the web. My bookmarks bar, I'm going for a clean and simple look with icons only, no text. Well, who needs the text anyway? I mean, I can tell that this is Gmail. And this is YouTube, and this is Google Maps, and this is Grammarly. These icons are recognizable to me. And even if they weren't, I'd figure it out. Now next to my icons, after the Spotify icon over here, you'll see I've got a series of folders. And each of these folders has an icon as well. And the icon represents the category of the contents of that folder. For example, this one here is a shopping bag icon. And if I open up this folder, I've got shopping related links in here. And this one has links to sites related to COVID-19. So let's talk about how to add a bookmark to your bookmarks bar. One bookmark I'd like to add to my bookmarks bar is camel, camel, camel. So if I want to add camel, camel, camel to my bookmarks bar over here to the right, on the right hand side of the address bar there's the star icon. If I click on the star, it's going to bookmark that tab. It says bookmark added, gives it an, the name as provided by the website, and folder is the location where it's going to live, in this case the bookmarks bar. If I wanted it to live in a different folder, I could select that folder and it would live there instead. But for now, let's just add it to the bookmarks bar. Now I don't want the name added to my bookmark. I want it to be clean and simple like my other icons. I want to just see that camel. So I'm going to delete the text in the name field. Just leave it blank. And the cool thing is Google Chrome will let you do that. So I've got a blank name field, folder set to bookmarks bar, and I'll click done. And there it is. There's my bookmark to camel 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 and the lovely camel icon. But actually, I don't want this bookmark to live here necessarily. I want it to live over here, maybe next to the Spotify icon. Keep my folders separate from my regular bookmarks. All right, so far so good. But you know what? I've changed my mind. I have changed my mind. I don't want the camel, camel, camel bookmark to live here in the bookmarks bar all by itself. I think it belongs in this shopping folder, right? That makes a lot of sense. So how can I move that into the shopping folder? I'm gonna click on that camel, camel, camel icon and drag it over. And you can see as I drag it over to that folder, it highlights, shows me the contents of the folder. And if I release, now it's dropped into that folder. There it is in the bottom. But it doesn't have a name. Now that it's in a folder, I want it to have a name. I will control click or right click on bookmark and go down to edit and give it a name. They don't use spaces, neither will I. All right, save. Now go back to that folder and there it is, camel, camel, camel. And you know what? I want this to actually be up here with the Amazon bookmark. So I'll click and drag. Look how easy it is to move this stuff around and organize it however you want. Now let's talk about where these icons come from. Now most sites like camel, camel, camel here have an icon built into it. This is called the favicon. On this site, their favicon is a camel. On Grammarly's site, their favicon is this G icon. On Spotify's website, their favicon is their logo. And when a website has a favicon and you bookmark that site, it'll automatically pull in that favicon. Now let's talk about the icons next to these folders, the shopping bags, the pen, etc. Let's start with where they come from. I found these icons at Emojipedia. At Emojipedia, you can search or browse for icons for just about anything. I'm going to search for COVID-19. All right, here's what it found. Microbe, soap, hospital, face with medical mask. Now, face with medical mask is what I'm using currently but I want something that stands out a little bit more. I've already got two other faces up there. This microbe looks pretty cool. Let's click on that. Scroll down. And you can copy and paste the emoji. It's copied. 
All right, now we're back in the saddle and ready to replace this icon on this folder. The way to do that is to hover over the folder, control or right click, click rename, delete the medical mask face, and paste in the microbe icon, and click save. There, as you can see, the microbe is now the icon representing this folder. Now I should mention how you create a folder on the bookmarks bar to start with. The way to do that is to control or right click anywhere on the bookmarks bar. Go down to add folder. It will ask for the name of the folder in which you could give it a name or in my case give it an icon. Paste in your icon and save. And there it's created this new folder. There's another way you can manage your bookmarks bar, and that is by again control or right clicking on the bookmarks bar and going down to bookmark manager. And this will present another view which you may find helpful to rearrange icons, edit them, edit and rearrange folders. And there's also this other folder in addition to bookmarks bar called other bookmarks. You may find that useful but personally I stick with the bookmarks bar. And of course, there's no need to go into the bookmarks manager to move and edit icons, um, because as I've shown, you can simply click and drag them right from the bookmarks bar itself. Have fun customizing your bookmarks bar in Google Chrome.